What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Summer's here y'all. And what do we do during the summer? We catch live bait. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. But first I gotta give a huge shout out to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. So I'm gonna teach you in this video how to throw a net. But I'm also gonna take these exotic, non-native fish that we're gonna catch. And we're taking them to my buddy's place in Jupiter who has tons of huge alligators, big lizards, giant snakes, and all kinds of reptiles, and we're gonna feed them to them. So with no further ado, let me show you. This is just an eight foot cast net. If you're starting out cast netting, this is what you should probably start with. I put it in my mouth. I can't do this over your shoulder stuff. To me, you can't throw it. Sometimes when I'm catching bait, there'll be a school of mullet out there 20 feet. You cannot throw it that far by throwing it over your shoulder. You gotta put it in your mouth. So I put it like that, and I just start throwing it. One, two, three. Here's the most important part. Right there. Flip that. See how I have it? My pointer finger and my thumb. It's just this easy. You ready? You ready? You can catch any kind of minnows, bluegills, which you can't use bluegills for bait. But you can catch live shiners. Look right here. You can catch big old fat tilapia, which is mm. what we're after today. Look at that. The this white joke, one. This joker right here is going to Camp Kennan's house and it's gonna get fed to something huge. Now these are bluegills. You cannot legally catch them in a cast net and keep them. I don't know what on earth that is. I've never even seen that kind of minnow. Hmm. We're gonna turn it loose. Then we got one more, two more baby tilapia. The cool thing about Kenan's house is he's got reptiles that'll eat that size bait, this size bait, and the bigger one. So now I'm gonna show you, you throw and you drug it up on the bank, here's how you start it. Always get your line right back to where it needs to be. Grab it by the horn, I like to stretch it out, make sure it's not twisted at all. Dunk it back in the water. Just like so. I've got it right in the middle. I've got a, the horn and right in the middle. I'm going to come down about right here. Hold it. Put it in my mouth. And flip it. Now, if I'm wanting to throw it far, here's how I do it. Look at that. I almost stretched the whole line out. I have my big net in there too, so I'm going to show you how to throw a real big net. You almost forgot the most important part. What's that? To make sure it's tied around your wrist. <laughs> oh yeah, you got to do that. And we got one more tilapia. Those are good sized tilapias for feeder, feeder fish. No, don't let it go. So we're going to put these in here and it's nice to see all these little baby bluegills because that's, we know the native fish are doing okay. And like Kelly said before, I, I have got this question a lot too. This is how you put it on your wrist. See that? Now, if you cast an a manatee or a porpoise, you better get that off your wrist pretty quick. Even when I'm putting my cast net away, I do it just like I'm getting ready to throw it. I grab it by the horn, I stretch it out. Make sure I throw all these little minnows out. Oh, you got a fish in there. We got another one. I rinse it off. And I'll put it away just like this. So when I go to get it out, it's not all tangled up. Let me take a second and tell you guys about Simply Safe which is Sirius Home Security made simpler. Their wireless cameras are so easy to use. Pop them open, pull the rechargeable battery out, plug it in inside. As soon as it's done, slap her back in here, close her up. Bada bing, bada bang, you're ready to go. Now Simply Safe only costs about a dollar a day and it only takes 30 minutes to set up. So anybody can afford it and anybody can definitely set it up. They also have awesome doorbell cam as well so one of the coolest things about simply safe is there's no long-term contracts and you also get a 60-day risk-free trial and if you don't like it just send it right back no loss 
So one of the other things that they offer is this keypad right here. You can mount it anywhere. And if you're going out, all you gotta do is hit away. Please exit now. So now that I'm leaving, I know Simply Safe still has my back because they also have fire alarms and window alarms. Plus all my outside cameras, y'all we're good. I trust Simply Safe and so can you. So save 20% today on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash blue gabe to learn more. You're gonna eat the bucket? Cows are such curious animals, it's so funny. What's in there? The fish are flipping. Look at them. So this is my 12 foot net. It's twice as heavy as that smaller net and it's a lot harder to throw, but it's not too hard to throw. Got the rope wrapped up, got my hand on the horn, hold it right here. And I'm gonna double it up, pull it just like that. See that? About right here is where I'm gonna grab it. Put it in my mouth. Now you see, here's a tangle. I can kick it with my knee or I'll let it down out of my mouth. And I'll pull it just like so. Now it's all untangled. Take it back up. Start flipping. Till about half the net. Remember, look at my pointer finger. Just like so. See that? Now you gotta put some oomph behind this net. I always want to be pointing where I'm throwing. That's a big net. This is, this lake's actually drying up quite a bit. So you would think that the fish would be more concentrated right here. Oh, you got some fish in there. I see some net, net wiggling. They weren't able to outswim this net. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh, you got a bass. Oh, that's one of Luke's and Jake's bass. Better turn him loose real quick. You cannot keep largemouth bass either. Excuse me, Mr. Cow. I need this bucket. These are good size ones right here. So I want to start with holding the net just like this and sort of popping it. And I can start shaking it. Get them all out of there. This net right here will wear your shoulder out. Get out of there. Oh, here I'm going to release it. Here's a cry. Uh, no, it's a shell cracker. Huh. Bluegill. Right. Got us a bunch of fill off. Wonder how many eggs tilapia lay like a, a year. Bunch. I think it's more than a lionfish. We might uh -huh. have to look that up. Now I know when it comes to throwing a cast net, everybody has their own little unique way that already knows how to throw one. By no way, shape, or form am I saying my way is the only way. I'm just teaching you how I do it. Pull the net up, double it up, right here. It's actually way easier to throw once it's already wet too. Put my mouth. there get my finger flip that out let's move down just a hair all right are you ready here you go pancakes 
We'll see y'all at Camp Kennan's house right now. Oh, good girl. <laughs> I told y'all this wouldn't be a very boring video. Now, you know, some of my cast net videos can be that way, but we're here at Camp Kennan's. Right What's here's up? the man with the plan. You guys, this dude is everything reptiles. The gator you just witnessed, what's her name? That's Lady Dale. Named she's after Dale Earnhardt. She's a baby. Wait till you see the bigger one that's about to come around the corner. Now, they're smart, right? Like, they know when it's me and when it's someone else. So they may be a little nervous, and that's why Snaggletooth isn't over here yet. So pretty much you're saying they know that I hunt alligators. That's it. And we're trying to get you. Come on, here's Snaggy. Come on, Snaggy. Come on. Watch this guy as he crosses through the narrows here. Come on, Snaggy. It's shallow right there. Come on, boy. <laughs> here he comes. Look how big this thing oh, is. Oh, dude, he's a beaut, man. Look at his eyeballs. Oh, oh he is a gorgeous gator. He's about 12 foot. He's 18 foot. Uh, yeah, 12 foot, and he's 18 years old. Wow. And these two gators belong to a very close friend of mine, Fred Grunwald, who's like a local hero of reptiles. Lived out in Loxahatchee, Florida. He passed away on November 30th, 2021. Are we not going to talk about the fact that the he fact just he disappeared? Yeah, he we, went incognito. We, we should probably start using our heads. You see how she's swallowing, man? They can't swallow like people. They don't have muscles that pull it down. They have to use the gravity to kind of get the food in their tummies. Come on, Snaggy. Come on. Good boy. Yeah, he's a good gator, man. So when my buddy passed away, are. he left me these buttes. So they're in my care now. And you can see why he's called Snaggletooth. Ah! You better keep moving. <laughs> Give me that. Give Listen, y'all, I ain't the, I'm not the reptile. Y'all hear that little scream? I'm not the reptile. That was a little expert. That scream was a little suspect, Gabe. Come on now. Well, listen, I ain't comfortable with this situation. Watch out, guys. Here we go. Come on. There you go. Oh, there you go. You hear that jaw pop? Oh, that's good. Y'all, I good. apologize for the scream. <laughs> I thought I was going to get eight. I'm just happy we got it on camera now. Oh, that's Let me funny, see. Man. Oh, he might have been one and done right now. I think so. We'll see. Let him swallow it. She went over there to swallow. They'll be back. These guys are happy with this. And the cool thing about the, uh, you know, your family is your dad and you keep my animals happy and fed. But here's what I want to do, man. Maybe you, maybe you can get me out there to hunt a hog because I'd like to get them some whole prey this summer, you know? Listen, we got Mr. Trevor's Ranch. Okay. We got thermals. We've got rifles and bows. Whew. We can get multiple hogs. All right. That I can't believe fun. you two are making fun of me with that. Like it was a near-death experience. Where'd she go Come on, go people. Now? What do you think? The great, the great hunter. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's different when the hunter becomes the hunted. Exactly. I have killed so many of these big giant alligators that I know how they work. And that gator, all jokes aside, could lunge out of there so like no faster than I could have got out of the way. If but it was a wild alligator. But that shows you exactly. If it was a wild gator, it would be locked onto you. But this guy knows through many years of captivity that you're going to feed it. Now, that doesn't mean mistakes can't happen. And that's the problem with people coming down to Florida. They start feeding gators. Gators start to associate people with food. If they come up and they see a little dog, something like that, your hand, they don't mind taking that either. Now, he's going to position that fish, and he's just going to swallow it on up. Give him a second because I'm guaranteeing you one tilapia is not going to be enough for this guy. He's got a fat head. Oh, dude, he's big. The bigger they get, the older they get, the more broad their, their snouts get. Now, the reason, if you look at all kinds of different crocodiles and alligators, the shape of their snout tells you what they eat. If it's a broader snout, like the gator, it means that animal goes for things that have to, it has to really crush, like turtle shells, uh, raccoons, things like that bigger prey okay look at that how cool is that now, you got it man predominantly if you had to guess all the big alligators that i've harvested what's the number one thing in their belly probably fish to be honest fish and small game what why what have you found predominantly the the most abundant thing in their belly is one giant turtle there you go soft shell turtle wow so that because most sense. of the gators i kill in lake okeechobee what a lot of people don't realize about Lake Okeechobee is just how big is it, how big it is. Those gators might never even come to land, but what they do is they sit out there and they float. A soft shell turtle sees a big object that maybe it can get up on Makes and get sense. in the sun and rest, and the gators gobble them up. Let that's me see that camera, good. babe. You know, and that's something I, I have to just say, uh, so many people, um, so many scientists rely on hunters. 
uh, I just learned something from you, and that's really cool. And yeah. it's hunters uh, that are out there day, to, day in and day out that are working with these animals in some capacity, and that's why I respect proper hunting, good hunters like yourself yeah. that really pay attention to what these animals are doing, because I just learned something. That's great. Good job. Good job. That's awesome, Gabe. And that shows you right there, that animal did not see you as food. It saw the food and it wanted it. But again, I just have to reiterate, because you know me, I'm a responsible guy, and you just don't come down to Florida feeding wild gators, man. Did I redeem myself from that first scream? I think I did. All right, let's go feed something else. So yes. what is your YouTube channel? It's called Camp Kennan, man. My friends would come over here and they're like, Kennan, it's like you got your own summer camp. So they just named my home Camp Kennan and I just took it and ran with it. My name's Kennan, camp with a K. That's it, man. It's like summer camp for reptiles. So I do reptile education. You guys, if your kids or you yourself like reptiles, I highly suggest checking out Camp Kennan. My boys absolutely love this place. I met him a few years back when he built this big pond with aquascape. We've been friends ever since. So today we knew we would go catch some tilapia. I wanted to show you all how to throw a cast net and I thought, well, I don't really want to eat the tilapia because it's summertime and we have so much other better, in my opinion, fresh fish. So I said, let's call Kenan, bring the fish to him and show you all some of these awesome things he has here. Oh no. <laughs> This is the most exciting thing I've done in a long time. Oh, I see his tongue. Get that fish over there so you can smell it. Yeah, Slinky. Oh, good boy. Look what I got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a little tight squeeze in there, buddy. Good job. Oh, good boy. You're good. He's camera shy. Head first. How was that, Slink? That was worth coming out. Aww. We got more for you, buddy. Good boy. How cool is that? I love their tongues. Oh, he's gonna taste me. Hi. No, I know. My hand smells like fish, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna feed him. Oh, now he's excited. Oh, I'm not scared. Yeah, hold on. That's okay. That's that's what it's I would do too. There. That's why I like to use the tongs because he can get excited. Oh yeah. He's like, wait, your hand still smells like fish. That's funny. Come on. Here you go. You don't want that green stuff. You're not a vegetarian. So you didn't even taste that fish. No. I just calm down. I make a fist. I let him yeah. smell my hand. Let him know that it's not food, yeah. and he will let you pet him. Oh now. now he's like, like an Yep. He's cool. Yeah, he's my favorite here. I love him. All right, so we've spent a bunch of time feeding Slinky. It's time to feed his girlfriend. But Mr. Kennan himself just said she gets a bit lippy and has nipped him before, so yeah. If I come out looking like this, y'all know the issue. All right, you want to get a get a smaller one, one of those little guys. Nice. I knew we were. Oh, everything's got a everything has a place here, man. There's a mouth to feed all sizes. She's up on top of her box. Come here, girl. Aww. Oh, there she is. I didn't even see her up there. She looks pretty. Come on. What's her name? That's Pinky. Slinky and Pinky. You're making her work for it. Well, we got to get her down here to the camera. There we go. Look at that. Hello. Oh, 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 oh no, oh, oh. here let me help you. I didn't mean to, I thought you could crawl that. <laughs> Put it in reverse. Wow. So awesome that you have this place where we can come and see stuff like this. But look right here. Hello. That's little elongated tortoise. 
I keep that tortoise in here because he eats all the weeds that pop up, so I don't have to do any yard work in here. Hey, we need a couple of these, then we can fire the lawn, guys. <laughs> it's true, man. That's the only thing keeping my lawn from growing is my tortoises. I want to get cool. one. I think it'll go good with Kelly's turkey, and Kelly's got four, right? Four. Four chickens? Four oh, of the cool. meanest chickens ever. They attack her oh. turkey. They attack the turkey. So we need to get a turtle so the turtle and the turkey can gang up on the chickens. Well, I don't know how much help a tortoise is going to be, <laughs> but hey, I'm happy to help you out. I'll tell you what, before we go, do you guys want to see some of the giant tortoises or what? Yes, that's what I like the most. They let's don't go. bite. <laughs> Hello. Here, let's get Come a here, Kale. Hello. Look at the size comparison. You want to bite? They're looking at you. They Oh no, they know you're over here. I guess you're going to be picky. Here you go. It's so funny. Uh, you have a mouthful, but all right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are the coolest animals on the planet, in my opinion. Not gonna lie, I kind of thought they were gonna be boring, but I, I really like them. Look at their feet. They got like elephant style feet. Tell me y'all aren't in love. Now, Mr. Kennan himself has a awesome story about this big tortoise i'm gonna let him tell you that yeah i got a call uh, about 10 years ago from uh this turtle nerd society i belong to the turtle survival alliance and my buddy uh works at animal management there and he said do you want a large galapagos tortoise i was like of course that would be amazing he goes well there's a catch you got to fly all the way to marin county california and so i flew to marin county an old bmx buddy of mine built a crate we built a big old crate put her in the crate, drove his little Mazda MPV minivan, riding on the axles to the airport, got out. They, you would have thought I was flying first class, man. It was the coolest thing. They put me on the runway. I got to watch her get loaded. I, I stayed in a uh, special um, waiting area. And then she flew home during that polar vortex in a heated luggage compartment. And because she's an endangered animal, Delta Airlines, being as cool as they are, waived the oversized baggage fee. Can you believe that? That's Man, awesome. I, I used to have to travel with bicycles, and they'd bang you out for a hundred bucks, but not a giant 350-pound Galapagos tortoise. That's pretty awesome. Hey, since every time you have animals on your channel, you have to involve the poop. Look at this massive turd. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> that's a Luke-sized poop. <laughs> That's just grass going out the other end, man. These guys are obviously they're herbivores, so what goes in must come out. And another real quick thing, uh, you'll notice this tortoise is a bit different. And this is an Aldabra tortoise. There are two types of giant tortoise in the world. There's the Galapagos tortoise, which is what Socrates and Darwin are. And then the Aldabra tortoise found uh, near the Seychelles on the Aldabra Atoll in the Indian Ocean. And this guy's name is Nostradamus. I got him in 2004. He was just that big. So he's about 18, almost 19 years old. And uh, he's looking pretty good. He's about 200 pounds. And I know he's a boy because he showed me his tackle. And uh, boy, I can't wait to get him a girl. In fact, I have him a girlfriend. She's a little smaller though. It's gonna be a few years before we can get them together. Yeah, you got hey, babe. <laughs> Watch it. That thing will snap your finger. You guys, off. if you don't love turtles, Something's wrong with you. All right, it was nice seeing you. Oh. No, I want it. Oh, it's crushing my foot. Ooh. All right, y'all, that's a wrap for Mr. Camp Kennan's house. I hope y'all like this video. Something a little bit different. We taught you how to throw a cast net. We removed some non-native species and we fed some native and non-native species. Introduce you to Mr. Kennan, check his channel out. It's K-A-M-P. That is correct. K-E-N-A-N. Camp yeah. Kennan. Check him out. I've got to give another huge shout out to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. And a third shout out to my beautiful girlfriend, Kelly Young, for always helping me film. Y'all make sure you check her channel out. It's Kelly Young on YouTube. Thanks for watching, though. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. Like Jake always says, though, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.